Welcome. In this video, I'm going to talk about how I set up notifications in Home Assistant for my washer and dryer. So I don't know if this will work with every washer and dryer, but I'm going to talk about how I set it up and maybe you can use what I talk about to make it work with your system. So this is a front load washer and a gas dryer. Now these are plugged in here. They're both plugged into 110 outlets and they're both plugged into Casa Smart EP25 smart outlets with energy monitoring. I was a little apprehensive at first about connecting my washer and dryer to smart outlets, but I've been using this for over a month now and it's been working great. So if you find this video helpful and you want to purchase some of these, I'll put a link to them in the description. And if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. I also have a home assistant playlist where I have other videos, including videos on these specific smart outlets and how to set them up in home assistant. So let's head over to the computer and I'll talk about the configuration. Okay, so here I'm logged into home assistant and to have the smart outlets installed. So I have the other video on that but basically you set the casa outlets up in the casa app and then you go to the settings here and add it as an integration you search for casa and you can find them there and then once they're added you can add them to your dashboard set up automations and such so let's start with the washing machine if you look down here you can see the washing machine current consumption so i'll click on that i'll hit show more so you can see these spikes here are instances of the washing machine running so i'll actually open up a new tab and i'll go into my settings and I'll go to automations, and I'll go into my washer monitor, and this is the automation I set up. So you want to add a trigger, and then for the device, choose the washing machine. So when you set up your CASA smart outlet, you can name it washing machine, and then we're going to have a trigger, and that's when the washing machine current consumption power changes, and it gives you two options here. It has above and below. So I set that to three watts, and that's for over a minute. So if we go back here to this chart, let me expand this out somehow. I'll go to the 28th and I'll say between 3 and 4 p.m. So we have a chart of how much electricity it used over the cycle. And if we look at the lowest points here, it's drawing, it's kind of hard, it's almost off the screen, but it's at 4.5 watts, 4.4, 4.5. So if we look at all of this, the lowest it gets while it's running is 4.5 watts. So this is the big spin cycle at the end. It gets up to 650 watts, then it drops down here. And when it's finished, you can see it drops down to 2.1, 1.9 watts. So that coincides with this here, when it drops below three watts, we know that the washing machine is finished. And when it sees that for a whole minute, then it knows. So it doesn't do it immediately, and you could have it do it sooner. I just chose a minute. So if it sees that below three watts for one minute, we know the washer is done washing. So you'll need to plug this in, run your washing machine, and look and see how much electricity it uses, and then find something that works for you. So you could look for that lowest part, and then choose a wattage below it and then you can tell the washing machine is done. Now the dryer is going to be a little more complicated and I will show that coming up. So then we go down here to actions and we choose service, notification, send a notification with notify. And then we have a message saying the washer is finished. So if you have your phone or tablet logged into the app and you have notifications enabled and turned on, you'll get a notification when the washer is finished washing. So let's take a look at the dryer, slightly more complicated. Let me get into the dryer consumption. So the dryer here has a little bit different of a profile than the washer. So when it's off, it's zero, and then it starts up. And we have these peaks at 674 watts, 685. And then we have this lower one at around 200 watts. So this is probably the spinning here, and these peaks are probably the igniter igniting. So then here it drops down to 1.6 watts. So this is when it's finished. So for the washing machine, we said if it's below three watts, send the notification. Now the problem with the dryer is that every few minutes it runs to fluff it. So it goes up to 182 and then drops down to 1.7 watts again. So for each of these, it would send the notification, which could get annoying. Now it did pop up here. I think that is turning the igniter back on while it's fluffing it. So it fluffs it a couple times, turns the igniter on and fluffs it. And interestingly, that pops up to 1,838 watts. So I'm not sure why that is. So I want to show you how I accounted for this. So for the dryer trigger, I said devices dryer, look for power changes and trigger when it's above 600 watts. So if we go here, we can look, it goes above 600 watts. And as I said before, this is a gas dryer. An electric dryer isn't going to work with this exact thing, but there might be other ways you could make it work. So we have this over 600 watts. And then if we scroll down for the actions, you want to choose this little traffic light and, and choose wait for dryer current consumption power changes. And this is going to time out after an hour. So if it doesn't see this happen within the hour, it's going to give up. So if you have a dryer that takes a long time, you may need to extend that. So this allows us to add another trigger. 
So we look for that 600 watts, and then within the hour, we look for another power change down below 2 watts. So if it sees those two things, it's going to trigger. And then we go down here and we call the service notification and send dryer is finished. So you can see it gets over 600 watts, and then it doesn't get below 2 watts until it gets down here. So this will trigger here, but then it would have also triggered here and here. But that's better than triggering on each of these peaks. So I have this set up on my phone. So I'll put the phone screen up on the screen here. I have the clock app open. This will work with the phone in sleep mode, but it's hard to record that way. But I'll go up here to the three dots after call and notification, and I can say run here. And then if we look on my phone, it'll say dryer is finished. So you can test those notifications independent of the triggers. So that's very helpful. So when you set this up, test that notification. Then if you're not getting that notification, you know to tweak your triggers a little bit. So that's how I set up notifications for a washer and dryer in Home Assistant using a Casa Smart Outlet. Now there may be better ways to do this. And if you have any suggestions, drop them in the comments below. Or maybe things that you had trouble with and solutions you found that could help other people. But I've been using this for a while. It's been working well for me. I did have one random notification that the washer was finished. And it might have just been the notification coming in late somehow. But otherwise it's been working very well. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.